my sister, Carrie Lynn Dalton, was convicted of capital crime. She was sentenced to death row. It was declared a torture murder. She was convicted without a body, without a weapon, without any blood evidence, without any physical evidence, without a crime scene, and without anyone being declared deceased nearly seven years later as she stood trial, with no one declared deceased being charged with death penalty. There was a missing person. Uh, who wasn't even really missing. Her husband wouldn't declare her missing as the task force wanted him to because he said he testified that he spoke with her uh, nearly a month after the alleged murder took place. And he described who she was with and the name of the friend, what they were drinking, where they were at. And even though the police threatened him um, with incarceration or at the different times they promised to let him out free, out early, he would not change his testimony. He knows that he saw his wife. So the um, police actually got a CPS worker to report Melanie May missing. They asked her to. San Diego Superior County Courthouse is where they keep the transcripts and her trial transcripts just always say missing and I've called and they will just kind of give me the shuffle and say well it's here somewhere it's got to be somewhere perhaps the DA has it or something. Well I wrote the book Cages with the hopes to motivate people to want to step up and step forward and contribute to my sister's exoneration, her case. And now we're working on this film um, and with the very deep hopes that folks will want to get involved and want to contribute in whatever way, whether it's financially or spirit or um, support carry or um, tell more people. I want my sister to come home. I want her to come home before it's too late. And life on death row is really, really bad for you, emotionally, physically, mentally. And I don't know. Um, people say, well, is she scheduled to be executed? Why are you panicking? Well, I don't think anybody there with this many years has much time left, um, physically, uh, health-wise, but emotionally and mentally, it's just, taken a real toll on her and I see it every time I visit her. It gets worse. <laughs>